Hey YouTubers, what's up? I network here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Safari 5 with its new extensions gallery that a lot of people have been waiting for. So basically, if you go ahead and download Safari 5, I'll have the link in the description. It'll come with the option to enable Safari extensions. And Safari extensions are just like Google Chrome extensions or Firefox add-ons, except this is new so that they don't have as much but they basically do the same thing but in the safari web browser now first off you have the most um i guess viewed or used extensions so they're going to be the twitter for safari the bing highlights the mlb toolbar new york times update and my ebay manager and adds to amazon's wish list now as of this video these are the current um I guess most used Twitter, I mean Safari extensions. Now, besides extensions, you do have um, a lot more HTML5 support, a lot of JavaScript, more JavaScript support, and CSS3, as it says right here. And um, it also has a built in RSS reader so you can read your feeds. So, what's cool? Um, it's the same thing you have the same feature with Google Chrome is that when you install a um, extension you won't have to restart like Firefox um, not nothing big you know I kind of would expect that but you know it's a cool thing so basically you have about four two six nine twelve about sixteen seventeen eighteen um, categories of extensions you have news all the way to others so let's say for example I want to use a um, bookmarking extension so I go to that category and I, as of this video they have a total of five extensions now when you see the extensions you'll see the developer you'll see the title the icon and a description of the extension telling you what it does now once again you do have the feature of installing it and not restarting now this is the bookmarking feature well section here you have the twitter tools and the email and shopping and etc so let's say i want something you know to check my email so gmail counter and i have gmail so this works pretty cool so um if i want to install it i select install now and a green check mark came up. Now it says loading. Now basically what this is, it says my latest email and it is from Tiger Direct. So um, that's my latest email. And then I guess it just keeps on going on and on. Now I wanna get rid of this cause I don't want you guys to see my email. And also you have this new little icon next to your address bar, which has a little icon and it says how many messages do you have. Now this is very handy for me, um, and it could be handy if you use Gmail for your YouTube account, so you won't have to keep on checking YouTube. So I find that very handy, a uh, really cool uh, extension. Now this, um, there's another one called YouTube Wide, and it basically just uh, makes YouTube widescreen by default. So I love watching videos in widescreen. I can't watch them in standard, um, smaller widescreen. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this too. And as far as I know, this does not uh, slow down your Safari speed. So it looks pretty cool and everything's working fine. Now, like um, Firefox and Google Chrome, you're gonna have the awesome screenshot add-on which basically just takes a picture of your screen what you're viewing and it's great for making a YouTube template for your actual channel and I guess you're gonna have a different version called Little Snapper but it's basically the same thing and this is in the photos category now searching you're gonna have Google searches and Bing searches and custom searches now I really really recommend um, Adblock always install adblock in your uh, web browser because there's a lot of stupid ads out there so i'm going to go ahead and install that right now okay and another button will also appear 
I feel that's not necessary, so I'll probably disable that. But let's just look at the options here. Okay. And um, let's see. Okay. Just general options like in all web browsers. And you have the option to block some. All right. Um, and then you have another one called Exposer. And this is the last one I'm going to be reviewing. And basically what it does is it's... Uh, one of these but a different type of it um you mo you have more of a 2d version of it instead of a 3d pan wall i guess so yeah nothing special but it's cool let's go back to the top here and that is safari extensions now if you go ahead and go to this website um well this link i'll have in the description you can check out some more information about safari 5 and go ahead and download it test it out and comment and tell me what you guys think now one more thing if you want to get rid of an extension you want to go up to your settings and select uh preferences now you want to select your extensions tab and you'll see uh your extension that you have installed now to uninstall one just select on it and select uninstall and here with this little button you can just disable them quickly and re-enable them so you see as fast as i do that all the buttons disappear now you can also um automatically update all of your extensions which is very handy just select update and install updates automatically i recommend that and there you go so that is a basic um, not fully featured review on Safari extensions. I hope you liked it. Uh, go check it out for yourself. All links will be down in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good day.